This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my video and I'll try and say this of the Yoka U and if I got that wrong, please let me know. Um, tripod selfie stick uh, for smartphones. Now, the, there is a unique thing about this selfie stick. It is waterproof. Now, I have purchased this off Amazon um, UK for £11. The original price was £19.89. Now, it also comes in a couple of other colours. The black, which I have got here, um, comes in pink and white. The box, as we go around, just basically has the user guide and how to set up the Bluetooth pairing for the remote control uh, shutter button on there. And it just basically states on the side here that it is waterproof, 360 degree turn, aluminium um, rod or shaft, uh, wireless remote and tripod legged. Now this is what you get in the box. I'll start off with this first. We get the micro USB to USB cable and that is to charge the shutter button. The shutter button does not need a proprietary battery, you just charge it with this cable. Now in there, it doesn't state on the box, doesn't state what the milliamp battery of this shutter button is. So I have no clue what the milliamp battery of that, because it doesn't stay on the box whatsoever. Next, and you'd be surprised to see this, we do have a GoPro quarter inch uh, Fred tripod mount with thumb screw. And next to that, we have this converter, which you can attach the tripod mount to, because this selfie stick does come apart to allow you to put an action camera on there or a point, regular point and shoot camera on there. Now, if you do put an action camera on this, the shutter button does not work with any GoPro camera. I do not know about proprietary cameras like SJ Cam or Yi, if it would work with that particular action camera, but with GoPro, the shutter button does not work. So this stick, can be converted to take an action camera. And I'll show you that later. And you get a nice pouch to put your selfie stick tripod in. Now, this is how the selfie stick tripod looks like. It is all plastic, including that part there. The, I'll start at the bottom. It's a smooth plastic handle in a matte black finish. There is no grip whatsoever um, to this handle. At the bottom, we have the tripod feet, which have uh, locking pins to lock them into place when closed up. And they are made out of thick plastic and they have rubber ends on the feet. As we go up, we have the shutter button here that sits in a cradle and you simply release the shutter button in if you want to take it out by simply raising the top part of the stem, pushing on these grips here and this will slide out. And the shutter button itself, we have a button here and a little LC LED light here and the words of the brand Yoko Koa, uh, yeah, <laughs> my pronunciation of this is absolutely terrible, but that's what you have on here on the front. On the bottom, you have the um, port for the micro USB to charge the cable to charge it, this shutter button. 
And on the side we have two grooves which fit into these two rails on either side here. So the shutter button could slide in and fit in, it snaps into place. And now for up the top, we have not a GoPro style mount system here, but we have this system here with a um, thumb screw here, um, which can screw out to place this unit in, but I'll do that later to show you. And the mount is plastic. All this is plastic uh, with the arm here, with the phone mount, which has rubber here and rubber at the, side, at the top here. Nothing written on the back, just a directional arrow here showing you where it is spring loaded to fit your phone. So it's to simply push your phone up and slide in. It is also has a free 160 degree turn on there. Now, when out, you can turn this selfie stick around by simply turning it to face you like that and it locks into place and that goes 360 degrees. Now, the actual weight of this item is 165 grams. Its minimum length is 19.8 centimeters or 7.8 inches. The maximum length the manufacturers say it goes is to 71.5 centimeters or 28.1 inches in length. Now, when setting up the shutter button here with your phone, you want one long press on the shutter button and it will flash, it will start to blink. And I'll try and get that in focus. Now you need to put your phone, whether it's iOS or Android, you need to put it on um, Bluetooth. If it's Android phone that you're using, you have to make your phone in discovery mode on Bluetooth. Now, once you've pressed the button on the shutter button, it will flash, uh, it will flash and it should come up here as Yonko, I'll try and get it in there, as Yonko, V1, it will come up as, and all you do is you connect to that, and once you connect to that, that light will start flashing and it will become solid, and that's it, the shutter button is ready to use. Now, when you, it has a sleep time on this shutter button of about 10 minutes, it will shut down if not in use, and if you want to shut down the shutter button uh, entirely, that is just a long press, for about eight seconds and it will shut off the shutter button. Now, as I stated before, the manufacturers state that when it's extended out between these two points is 28.1 inches. Now, I don't go by the manufacturers when they state that because that's the overall length. To me, the ex proper extension length is from the bottom of the mount whether it's the phone mount or the mount to mount your um, action camera on. So from the bottom of the mount to the top of the handle, this is to me is the true extension length. And between these two points here, it is 16 and three quarter inches. The reason why I state that is that you lose a bit on the handle and you lose a bit off the top here where the phone is. So that's to me is the actual extension length. Now the actual stem of this um, selfie stick um, tripod has a kind of gun metal gray purple color to it. And the manufacturers ha have used black kind of collars or sleeves where each section meets. It would have been better if they tried to make that the same color to give it a more of a stealth and premium look. Now the stem itself is made out of aluminium and we have a seam running at the front, directly at the front, and a seam running down directly at the back and that's for added strength. Now this uses the old type of car aerial um, way of extending you just simply pull it out 
and friction between these points here keeps it in place. Now as for the top here as I showed you before we have this kind of mounting system here made of all plastic. We have a nice big thumb screw here and I'll come show you later on what you can also do with this which is very unique from this manufacturer that you can able to remove um, the thumb screw to put a, an adapter on there for your action camera or compact uh, point and shoot camera. Now in this part of my video when it comes to these I always test the shutter button, the remote shutter button on these or the shutter button that's on the selfie stick itself because what it is some selfie sticks the shutter button is muted on the phone some will make the phone make a sound when they're taking a picture or a video and some do not so we'll see if this one makes a, uh, makes a sound to the phone when we're taking a picture and it does and we'll put it on video to see if it makes a sound on the phone for video and yes it does and we're going to stop the video and it does so this one this particular shutter button does not mute the sound from your phone when in operation now with this particular selfie stick tripod and I know I'm going to be asked about this when you first get it and put your phone in it will hold your phone in a landscape position now it can be turned round by simply pushing down and we have a portrait position so it can go into landscape and into portrait and as I stated before it does have a 360 degree turn so you can even move it so the lens is down here instead of up here still move the phone around as you can see and you can get landscape now with this mount you can fit larger phones in there such as your I'll have to get this right your XRs I think it's called the XRs your plus phones and any of the large Samsung phones or Android phones I won't go through the whole list but they will fit in here and they will work within this phone mount now bear it in mind that when you are going to turn those large phones around you're going to have to angle this or slightly move your phone up because it will be hitting the bottom of this mount here so you'll be hitting the bottom so you might have to slide your phone a little bit that way to turn it around from landscape to portrait. Now to fit the other mount on which is that that mount there for your action camera what we need to do is you simply remove this screw anti-clockwise anti-clockwise turn which in turns reveals this screw here now it's straight um, clean there's no screw thread here there's a screw thread there and you'll get this part on the selfie stick itself you then get the other unit here and you'll place that on top now when you place this on top make sure the shiny end here the smooth end is facing on your left you place that, that bit on top and then you run the screw through there and simply turn and tighten up and now we got that bit on there now because that we got that bit on there now if you as I said before in my video if you got an SJ cam or a Yi camera or any of those um, type cam, um, action cameras you can just simply screw this quarter inch thread to the built in female mounts that you get on that camera. Now for a GoPro you're going to have to put this tripod uh, attachment on there and we simply just place that tripod attachment there and simply um, turn um, clockwise to tighten it and we place that on there and it'd be like that 
Now, this is how it looks with your action camera on there. And I'm using a GoPro Hero 8 just to demonstrate to you. That's how it will look with it on there. Now, remember what I stated before in the earlier on in my video, this shutter button does not work with this camera. So do not try and link this shutter button because it does, I've tried it, it does not work. So it may work with the E cameras and SJ cam cameras, this shutter button might be able to be connected to them cameras, but to the um, GoPro cameras, it does not connect. And this is how it looks when it's extended out with an action camera on there. And as, I, and as I stated before, do not use the shutter button with a GoPro camera, but that's how it looks. Now, as for the waterproof of this particular selfie stick is obviously with an action camera, providing the action camera has either got its case or it's like the GoPros from five, six, seven and eight, they're waterproof, so if the action camera is initially waterproof, then you are okay. The stick is waterproof, but you have to remove the shutter button. So if you're gonna have this in, in a pool or any body of water, this is not waterproof. I repeat, this is not waterproof. So you're gonna have to remove the shutter button. Now, me personally would not have this around a body of water, I um, I on a boat or going to a pool. Well, pool isn't too bad, but any bodies of water like rivers, um, canals, or even the sea or lakes, I wouldn't go into uh, that with this particular pole because I have tried this. This pole with this camera on there does not float. It will sink. Um, the camera is just too heavy for this pole, plus the aluminium um, stem in there just aids to this sinking. So personally, it's not waterproof. I really think, well, it is waterproof, but it will sink with your phone or camera on it. So I would use a dedicated bobber if you're going into um, a anything from a pool to a lake or whatever, or the sea, I'd use a bobber. But as for the waterproof of this, to take out in a shower of rain, um, no problem, and to take out in the snow is no problem. Please bear this in mind, this is not an action pole. So it's if you take a bad knock with this, you're most likely gonna bend this um, stem because this stem is not thick like an action pole which would rather, which would probably have the diameter of this end here It's not as thick as that. So if you take a tumble with this it will just bend this pole um, Unlikely to break it Now this is how it looks when it's not fully outstretched But this is how it looks when it's on a tabletop now me personally when it comes to this and I've Stated this in other videos that if you're going to take this outside, I'd tether it to something. The same would go with this again. Um, as as I said, I've got an iPhone 7 on here, and any larger phones, the wind will take this and knock it over. It would, it will. So um, if it's fully extended, but for indoors, it's quite all right. Um, for indoors, even fully extended. Uh, and floor standing. Um, the footprint of this is, I'd say it's one of the better ones. I wouldn't say it's really great, but it's one of the better ones. It seems to have a more wider spread and sits a bit more low to the ground than other selfie stick tripods that are reviewed. So with this one, it is not too bad. Now, fully outstretched on the ground, it is 26 inches in length from a standing position and even me being this close to it on a hardwood floor there is a bit of sway with this at me being so close so it is swaying a bit so for outdoor use please tether it somewhat in the middle or keep it at half length 
if you're going to use this outside. Now, if you're going to use it indoors on a tabletop, work surface, or even uh, um, anything like that, then having it at full height is not too bad if you're going to be using it on things like that. Now, this is my two pence worth on the Yoko. No, it's in the title. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. It's in the title anyway of this selfie stick. And I'm going to start off with the negatives first. And the first negative has to be this handle. This handle is very smooth, even though it's in a matte finish. It's very smooth. They should have put some grip on this handle. It is too smooth. The next thing is this mount here. Not the actual phone mount, that's all right. The arm to this mount. You're gonna to have to be aware, of, be careful with this. Now, if you're gonna place some, the action camera component, which I showed you earlier on in the video, on here, make sure you, you place this arm in a, in a uh, safe area because, because this arm has a point here, if it ever cracks, that is it, it's finished with this unit to use this phone mount. So the phone mount is good, it's just the arm to me could have been made out of a much thicker plastic or even have this as metal rather than plastic. Another disadvantage, if you want to call it a disadvantage, is this remote. Now the remote is good for your phone and I like how you can charge it. That is also good. But you cannot connect this to a GoPro camera that's why I classify this as a disadvantage. They do give you that piece to mount your GoPro and mount an action camera, but as for GoPro cameras, this does not work now for your SJ cams, your Yi cameras, or any of those um, kind of Japanese type cameras, um, action cameras. This may work. I'm not saying that it could work, it may work. So. You could try that. If it does work, then it's an advantage um, to you. But if it doesn't work, it's a disadvantage when it comes to that point. Another disadvantage is this has a plasticky type feel to it. I think mainly because of the handle. So it does have a plasticky type feel. But in one way, because you're paying only £11 at the present moment rather than £18, £89, I think, this puts, it kind of somewhat wavers that plasticky feeling that you're paying something too cheap, so, um, too cheap for it. So it kind of wavers that. And the very last disadvantage is, even though it states that it's waterproof, um, it, it's kind of a misnomer because some people may take this out on large bodies of water thinking that uh, even though it says waterproof that you can able to use this um, in the sea or a lake or anything like that this does not float so I'll state that again it does not float uh, even with your phone on it it will just sink so bear that in mind now for the advantages the first advantage will have to be this mount here, the phone mount. The phone mount is really, really good. I like how it clamps your phone in and clamps it very securely in there. And it's one of the few selfie stick tripods that the actual phone mount rotates 360 degrees, which is brilliant. Another thing is the arm, well, it's the connection where the arm meets the selfie stick here. They provide you with a nice big thumb screw here where you can take that off and put on, put on this mount here so you can put your action camera or GoPro on there, which is really brilliant. The other is the shutter button here. Um, it has, as I, as I stated before, you don't need a required battery for it. You can simply charge it. Now it takes roughly about an hour to charge it's a shame that it doesn't stay on the box or no literature whatsoever what milliamp battery is in this. There is nothing stating what, what it is, so I can't tell you what that is. But it takes about an hour to charge. And the ease of use of connecting this to your phone is very, very easy. 
and I like how you can just simply shut the shutter button off and if you forget to do that it does shut off after 10 minutes so that is really good and last is the stem um, the stem is even though it's a simple car aerial type pull out stem there is a bit of, of strength to this a bit of stiffness to it which is quite good gives it a kind of longevity with that because others that I've tried simply came straight out pulled out so easy and very very quick that it was it made you think how long is that gonna when will that start to fail because it just comes out too freely at least with this it's really stiff to pull out and and this to me say, states to me that it, there's some longevity to that so that's one thing I like and also I like how you can actually turn the mount to any 360 degrees and lock it to any kind of so you can lock it either forward or away from you which is really good so that is an advantage now that was my two pence worth about this particular selfie stick tripod um, if you are looking for something to take on holiday with you which is a bit of an all-rounder I'd say it isn't the main all-rounder but it's a bit of an all-rounder then I'd, I'd go with this especially for the price but just bear it in mind even though it states it's waterproof you could take this out in the rain but be careful when taking this out in a boat or in large bodies of water and you lose this because there's no way of putting a strap on this uh, a, a lanyard on this so if this falls out your hand in large bodies of water it will sink with your phone or with the action camera on there so bear that in mind if you have this particular selfie stick and I ain't gonna mention the name because I'll look like a fool trying to mention the name if you've got this particular selfie stick from this company and I hope so it gets in shot yes please leave your comments down below what you think about it because your opinion is different to my opinion if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down I totally understand my videos can be long but I like to be fur in there I like to tell you what something about this particular selfie stick or any of my selfie sticks so when you buy you know what to expect and you can say to yourself yeah that guy on YouTube yeah he was right about this or yeah, he might be wrong about that but at least you know anyway do not forget to subscribe to my videos and thanks for watching